There are people that I know that we're on the same team. We do not work together. People like, is it Nelson? I don't work with him. Because he always likes to see, he has something to say about everything. I cannot know everything. No matter how you are, I cannot know everything. You cannot know something in everything. There's another person that I cannot work with. It's one person that talks too much. I don't like people that talk too much. Bro, you were talking about A, you were talking about Q. I cannot relate. And I cannot be rude. So if you're in the same team, I have to sit down there and be looking at his face. But I'm glad that we are not. So my team, anything you say, everybody just say, OK. But they have a different suggestion. They put it out. And nobody is trying to tell you about where they've been in Jerusalem, how they do it there, or where they've been to Togo, how they do it there. Everybody is just being on a level-headed ground, and that's awesome. Hello, Niger. How are you guys doing? It's another episode of Bringing Redefinition to the Streets. Now, if you caught last week's episode, you'd see that we had some industry gurus come train our contestants in different areas. Now, they're going to be needing some of those takeouts to power through the show. Today being their very first official task, we are going to need them to put their money where their mouth is, putting all they have learned from the street food business clinic into action. They're going to be pimping somebody's hustle. Now, I know you guys are eager to see the tasks unfold, but calm down, we're going to get to it. Because now, as some of you are also eager to see, we have our judges here to preside over today's tasks. Let's meet them, shall we? Our first judge of today, the lovely, the delectable, the ever-dramatic, Tony Lawani. Thank you for taking your sweet time. Oh, <laughs> nice to see you again. So, what oh. are you expecting from this season? Huh, this season, I'm expecting a lot of drama. I'm expecting, ha, huh, ha. Huh. You're expecting, ha, ha, ha. I'm expecting <laughs> fire from the chef. I know, expecting to, to, to taste good food. That's for sure now. Ah, uh, 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 okay. If food does not taste good, they need to go home. <laughs> <laughs> they, need to, they need to go back home. Okay. Yeah, someone invented all those street food that we eat. Yes. So let's see who's going to come up with that. Awesome, awesome. Please. Yeah. Thank you for having me. All right, next up, we have the very able, noble Igwe. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. Pleasure to have you around. Oh, hmm. <laughs> so noble. Yes. What are you expecting this season? I'm excited to be here for the first time as a first time judge. And um, I'm looking forward to see people do amazing things with their dishes. Okay. I grew up in Aba. I ate a lot of street food. So I'm excited to be here this year and this season. Awesome. Okay. We're happy to have you. Please. Join Tony Lawani at the judges' oh, table. Thank you so much. All right. And finally, we have the chef of all chefs, a master of culinary skills, Chef Fregs. This your outfit is giving everything that's supposed to give. It's giving sauce. It's giving sauce. Alpha. I'm good. So, Chef Fregs, what are you expecting this season? Um, I'm just expecting brilliance. In a nutshell, brilliant. I just want brilliant because with street food, you find that it's just people making, you know, do with what they have and just making the most out of it. I want people to keep it simple, but keep it stunning at the same time. Yeah. I want brilliant, share brilliance. That's what I want this season. And since we have Chef Fregs to, uh, on this show, you expect that the standards are going to be high. Very high. You know, Very so I'm, I'm kind of worried for the contestants already. Well, it's 10 million now, come on. They have to fight for it. They have to. All right, thank you. Thank you for being here. Please join Got you. the fellow judges at the judges' table. All right, and finally, our contestants. I'm so excited. I'm so glad for what is coming up. I mean, we just got out of boot camp, so we're waiting for this to start. So I can't just wait. Um, I think I'm just done waiting. Let this just start. Let's, let's just get into the task. For the task, contestants will be grouped into two groups of seven each, headed by the top performer of the previous exercise. Chef Grace, please step forward. Chef Ava, please step forward. We 
with their pitch presentation. And for that, going to the next round, I will give you the opportunity to select your team members. <laughs> team lead. Oh, Chinanye. Wow. Can she really do that? <laughs> you know, she's always in her chair. <sighs> Let me watch and see, though. Grace, mm, she has this leadership spirit in her. I think she can do it. In 20 seconds, write out the names of the people that you want on your team. With groups now allocated, contestants get a budget and have to choose their own group names, then have to plan out on what exactly their makeover will entail. A budget of 500,000 Naira each would be allocated to each team for this purpose. This task must be executed and presented within 72 hours. I choose my teammates based on people I observed that can be cooperative and then I can work with. Being the leader of Rainbow Team, first off, I felt it's a privilege. Second, it's overwhelming because I go carry people way past me. <laughs> yeah. So I've met each and every of my team members. Uh, I'm expecting dramas because before we were paired together, there's been a bit of tension amongst a few of them. So being in the same team now, I don't know what to say. But there's going to be dramas. See Rainbow! Boss of Excellence! Who are we? Magic Fingers! What do we do? We win! Calls were raised on social media for street food vendors whose spots needed makeovers. Entries came in from people who needed the makeovers themselves or people who knew those who needed the makeovers. The contestants will be handling these makeovers themselves. From the entry submitted online, two businesses were selected, AK Spaghetti situated in Makoko Yaba and Arewa Kitchen situated on Unilag Road, Akoka. Salami. Uh, the CEO of Arewa Kitchen Affairs. My business is located on 27 University Road, Akoka, Yaba. I have been in this business for over 15, 20 years ago. But my shop was located on you know, at uh, Queen's College, Yaba. Unexpectedly, uh, March 10, 2010, the place was demolished. So I used to stay inside, get an uh, outdoor walk, and all that. So later, a lady from this place, very close there, she's a very good sister to me, called me. That well, since I used to sell, I have a shop before that, my food is good. Why can't I start selling? So I have to start selling food inside my house there. By the end of the day, they were able to get a space for me outside here. Since then, it's like eight years plus now, I've been on this place. I would prefer if I have a better shop than this. But on this road, I'm also, I don't have any, I don't, I'm not capable enough to get a bigger shop. When we were given the assignment on to go and revamp this business, I have to cast my mind back. I have to put myself in AK's shoe. This is what every entrepreneur dreams to have. Uh, I'm very, very happy that uh, Food, food Bay and uh, I speak you got came to me that they informed me. They came to me that they were they will help me to renovate my shop that they will help me to do to make it more better than this and more conducive. Finally, we are meeting Madame Arewa Kitchen. She's such a nice person. I think she's a pleasant person to work with. Uh, she's very friendly and she smiles a lot. I've been managing here for over eight that? years. Now. For over eight years? Yes. Wow. So, wow. so all this was, I do it, but like to almost... To shield you away from so rain and heavy. sun. Almost, I, don't, I want something durable. That I will last more than being three. Oh, you, like you said you've been here for eight years, right? 
So why do you like this particular spot? Uh, uh, no, not this. Uh, I like this road is good. Is it in Brazil? Yes. Would yes. so you have a quick turn over here? Good turnover. Yes. Okay. Getting to the site, um, hey, it beat my expectation. I was actually expecting to see um, a site that at least has one or two aesthetics that one could work with. <laughs> what that matters what I get. What, what my dear. <laughs> what, is, what is what they show us in picture was different from what we, we, we are seeing. Where do they keep your food stuff? Where else? Well, 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 Madam Marewa, where do they keep your food stuff? My stuffs? Mm. That's your rice. And rats, rice and rats, rats know the fear entered there? Uh, no. Okay, so where do they throw away your dustbin? I used to buy it at the end of the day or two, three days. You don't have yes. a waste bin, like I those normal bag. long waste no, bins. I have bag. bag. I used to use the floor bag. Okay. okay. I use this once to dry this place. People, when we park in the night, they will not see what it is. Is this your structure? No, this is no, part no, of no, no, no. So where's your parameters? Where does it stop? Where your own stop? Here. Uh, Just like this. Yeah. Okay. okay. This whole area. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, we would want to turn this place around for you. And the name of my team is Rainbow. Rainbow team. Mm -hmm. Rainbow. And Chef Atana and um, Chef Nelson. We'll be working strictly on branding and packaging. My name is Akin Tijani. They call me Chef AK or AK Spaghetti in my area. My store is at number one Sari Street, Makoko, Savoyaba, Lagos, New Makoko. In AK Spark, I do food like spaghetti, rice, chicken and chips, yam and egg sauce, jollof rice, fried rice, and other menu. AK Spark started in the year 2018. I was at Akoka. I was doing this mini job with um, ITV Nigeria Limited. I was working for them as a laborer, packing sand, packing blocks and all that. So one night I went to my, I was tired. I, when I told my wife, I said, oh, I really want to do food. And I said, ah, you that doesn't know how to cook. How do you want to start cooking and people start eating? I'm not a Lagos person, I'm not based in Lagos, so I don't know anything about Makoko, but um, we got good about Makoko and we saw this swamp. Water. So our imagination of the place was how oh, more. I am from Street Food Niger. Wow! Ah, uh, I'm expecting <laughs> yes, you guys. Are here to revamp your shop? Yeah, thank you. To give you. it a new look. Ek Spaghetti. He is an amazing man. Just he's he has a very good um, way of um, welcoming people, and we are glad that he's the kind of person that we can work with. You guys, welcome, welcome, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. This is my space. Sorry, okay. Yeah. Um, where from? Where to where? You're from here to here. Oh, no, no, no. Mm. It's small lobe. Any other space, place, space yeah, at the back? Or, yeah, I use other place in Shots this. Place, yeah. No, these ones are closed. Do you use this place? Is this place yeah, active too? Yeah, this are. So you can use it. Yeah, yeah this. Place. So do you have up to this stand? Yeah, up to this stand. Uh, do you work at night, morning, afternoon? Yeah, our shop will open from 10 a.m. till 12 p.m. night. 10 a.m. in the to morning 12 p.m. to 12 p.m. Yeah. What's the clientele like? What's your, coming your, in? your client base, uh, you people that patronize you, do you have a steady customer that comes Yeah, yeah, I have a steady customer every day. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting, oh, interesting. Sorry, is this place rented? Yeah, it's rented, yeah. Is it rented apartment? Yeah. So I follow what's the duration for? Yearly, it's a yearly payment. It's a yearly payment. Yeah, I've been here for like five or six years now. Five or six years? Yeah. Whoa, you've, you, you stayed a long time here? Yeah. Man, yeah, yeah, I think we we we, we, we 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 are here for you, man. I think I think this okay. you really deserve it. How much? How much is your rent? Okay, I know. Yeah, one fifty, one fifty thousand naira. Wow. Yeah. Per, per year. Yearly, so for, yeah. from this place to this place. Yeah. One fifty thousand per annum. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that's fine. That means whatever we, whatever we put here to this place can it, it stands. Nobody, yeah, it nobody stands. will disturb you. Nobody will disturb you for one year. Yeah, yeah. That's the idea, right? Yeah. Okay, guys. I think I think we are we are almost getting there. We. Divided 
um, our plan into three categories. That is a shop branding, advertisement, and food content. We're going to put him on Google link so that his business can be easily um, located when you search it on Google. We're also going to be revamping his Instagram page and teaching you how to take great pictures and how to upload them. The area I'm working on is the food content. So in the food content, we look at the menu that is existing in the beneficiary's uh, business place. We look at how to improve our needs. We look at the safety and the hygiene aspect of it. Then we look at his customer level and how to improve his uh, customer level. We're here for your food content. Okay. So we're going to ask a few questions so we can be able to relate properly. So what, first of all, what's know your best selling? We definitely saw AK Spaghetti and we know that. But we just want to, you know, make it for That's my best selling for now. Spaghetti, okay. So what's your daily customers like? Your daily customers, what, like, how, how, much, how much clients do you see yourself getting in a day? About 150 daily. Amazing. 150. Okay. So, um, what, of, um, what other menu do you think, meal, would you like us to add to your menu? Well, let me tell you what I do. Tell us here. I do spaghetti, okay. spaghetti, and sauce, okay. chicken and chips, rice. What type of rice? Jello rice, white rice, white rice and stew. Yeah. Okay. Fried rice. I do fried rice. Too. So three types of rice. Okay. Fried rice too. Does it make jello rice? Yes. yes. Jello rice, white rice and stew. Everything with fried rice. Yes. Okay, then what else again? Yeah, you make yeah, grills, right? Yeah, yeah. Everything. Is. So your grills, do you make like fries? If somebody wants fries with your grills, maybe okay. I want to eat turkey with yam chips. Okay? Yeah, I do. Chips, okay. And possibly pepper sauce additional. Okay. Okay. I know that my, I'm, I'm a kind of person that when I get somewhere, I know people that I agree with, I know people that I don't agree with. So far, so good. There are people that I know that we're on the same team. We will not work together. People like this is Nelson, and I work with him because he always likes to see, he has something to say about everything. I cannot know everything. No matter how you are, I cannot know everything. You cannot know something, everything. There's another person that I cannot work with. It's one person that talks too much. I don't like people that talk too much. Bro, you were talking about A, you were talking about Q. I cannot relate and I cannot be rude. So if you're in the same team, I have to sit down there and be looking at his face. But I'm glad that we are not. So my team, anything you say, everybody just say, okay. Or they have a different suggestion, they put it out. And nobody is trying to tell you about where they've been in Jerusalem, how they do it there. Or where they've been to Togo, how they do it there. Everybody is just being on the level-headed ground and that's awesome. Team Rainbow has been good to me. I'm leaving the shop for them to make good, take good care of the shop, to make it look more nicer. We are going back to our drawing board because Omo, um, this structure, yeah, the size, Omo, um, are you seeing this size of place? I really do not have any regrets with my selection. I, I took the best hands. I took people that are smart and capable. We don't have she cooks. Yeah. We can put like a backdrop there. Jonathan, so, so Jonathan, so where the staff, where the cooking, all are getting work. What materials are we using? Everyone has to bring their ideas. So the materials will deliberate on that. So we need to block that part. So people are not seeing where they're they are washing plates. The yes. Yeah, so that's like the back office. I legit carried the team along with every single detail of, because you know, when we, when, when we had the group, we were designated roles. And every decision I have taken, I have consulted with the group, or I had consulted with the group before going ahead. We need to create a back office for her. That's number one. Number two, if we can also create a place, because I know people actually need to see that to eat, so we cannot take that away. I actually thought it was we're going to have um, a, a, a lot of space, so um, one could uh, build what we call a boot, a foot boot, um, having um, three sections, having the flow. Um, just like um, what you can find in any standard kitchen. Uh, but when we got in there, we found out that
we don't even have that uh, space to play around with. So, and what makes a, a very good project uh, manager a project manager is being able to improvise, being able to plan, and then when you get on 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 the field, you find out that you're not able to execute your plan the way it's it, it's meant to go. Are you going to abandon your show? Are you going to abandon the project? No, you just have to strategize. So what we did when we got in there, I had to call. Uh, my team members together and I started doing another floor plan so and that's what um, uh, we're set to do. And up till now we still don't have a 3D structure. In fact it got to the point where he took a pen and a paper and was drawing dimensions. I mean we're chefs right so why are we doing architecture now? Hmm. I think, I think the best thing for us to do is to allow me to do my job because I already know what I want to do here and I want to scale it down. You know when you can, you sense it is a recipe for disaster, and then you are trying to, you know, tweak that recipe, but the person is hell bent on sticking to that recipe. So you can tell that Chef G is actually confused. Pretty much doesn't know what they're doing. My own is that I, he's very wrong to say, let me do my job. Why he should he me. say that? As if we are not working together. No, no, no. You should not, you should not further everything over us. I'll be out without him to do his own choice. Let's allow him. The thing is that there's no big deal. Let's exactly. Let's just allow him and see what he comes up with. And he has to show us a structure because I see him doing something with pen and paper. So he has to show us a structure. You know what? You have to use this thing. It's not his own. Even now, he wants to buy it around this place. Always cheap. My, it's not just about house time. You see this thing? You see this thing? You see this canal? Canal? You cannot, you cannot build a, a standard no, structure. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. You have a standard structure. It has to be something that when the authorities come, come it's they can easy for to, you to, to evacuate. To to evacu Obviously, it's a team, and um, we all know as human beings, like the you most know, attention, and everybody will try to show themselves. I want to bring something to the table. Now, some people are saying that the the, the idea um, the other person is bringing is not really making sense. And me, I'm working with the other, the, or the person that is bringing the idea, and for me, the idea is superb. Now, somebody is saying that uh, we should not use this, we should use this, and it's really causing a very big, big problem. And some person is being petty. <laughs> he sits down, he doesn't do anything. And for me, it was very hard to communicate with him because he is someone that he wants his own to work, he doesn't really care. Now, apart from the fact that you know we are doing a good job, our host AK Spaghetti is just making us have fun, buying us drinks, food. You know, it's, it's an amazing host. So we are dancing because at least we know that we have we are almost done. <laughs> They said teamwork and yo, I, I don't see no team here. That is even the main Coco, the part me and Nelson. That is the main Coco point because we are the one that design, like with, the, with a designer, we, um, we are the one that work on the um, logo, menu, prop, and also um, um, creating of the, of the slug, um, slogan she's going to use. So work on the branding. Branded nylon and sticker. You guys really look at us like that. There's a reason why we were separated from the other team members. It was majorly because, like I said, we shared ideas and you know it wasn't taken into consideration. It's not embarrassing to us. We don't have time for that one. Hey, 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 bro, 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 bro. Hello? Hello, Blue. Do you still have this remaining? Please go ahead. We are behind shadow. You don't have any business with those guys. You're behind shadow, man. Let's go. Do I have anyone on my team that um, would always make me go gaga and go mad each time I look at? Yes, I do. Nelson. He was actually way off. Um, um, unruly. He was. Um, at some point, he didn't even pay attention to um, the the project. He wasn't. 
he wasn't really contributing that much because he felt um, his, his uh, part of, of the project to play was branding. Yeah, Antana. Antana Nelson. 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 Please, you guys should set me down. Who gave you trampoline? Wait. So she gave me um something to wash. It was very, very big. Um so Nelson and I helped me to wash it. So it's too dirty that we can't even wash it. They have to take it to the car wash. So we asked those Alabar women to pick it up and take it down to the car wash. So after the, um, the car wash men now said that they can't wash it because we can only pick it up tomorrow. Don't shout for them, don't call them. They don't need to be here. They gave, See, who gave you? you now you want to wait. Wait. No, 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 no. Come, I'm talking to you. Where are you going to? Antana! Meet the people that gave you trampoline to pay your money. Are you getting that? Meet them to pay you your money. Because if that girl comes here, I will slap her. Come here, am I not talking to you as if I'm a daughter? That's in payment. I was even nobody in that house. I'm calling auntie. Yes, this place, 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 yes. Let's do it ourselves. Let's do it ourselves. Spray it. Spray it. I swear. Let's get spray paint. Let's do spray paint. Do it here. You know what I was thinking? Eh? Another thing, I think I'm at the cheaper. Please. You can get this ball. No. No. Please. Let's yes. just do the paint. Yes. Let's just you do the paint. You can even use brush now, now, now. And brush it. Let's, yeah, what let's are we buy doing? paint things. We're not doing anything. We have to spray paint. So let us buy from her. Let's buy black. Ba yeah. Black. Yeah. Black and white. We should buy the two or one. No, one. We can yeah, even spray inside that down, shop. Do you know we can spray inside that shop? Spray. This place is not looking nice at all. And it's a very important part before you enter his shop. I'm like, okay, let's see what we are going to do. Now let's paint it. Me, I say use spray paint because I know that spray paint is easier to just spray paper. Everything is done. But all my, my other group members, especially one of them, Nature, he was telling me that he started saying that we should go and buy bucket paint and start painting. And then we're like, ah, that one will take long. Because if you buy bucket paint, you guys buy brush, you have to buy a roller and all. Why spray paint is just one time? No, the, 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 what was in the budget was for us to put a, 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 a tapoli no. or something to cover the background. Let's, let's do the spray. Let's pray, let's pray. Let's go. We're going to do something. We can even buy normal paint and brush and brush this thing now. Can we buy small pocket? Can we buy small pocket? I said, can we buy paint? Pocket paint. Four liters. Yeah, four liters. Two thousand. Two thousand. Yeah, it's cheap. Don't mind if you just say let us do this. No, you don't suggest. It's right now. This is what we've done. It's very important. It's very important. It's very important. Majority is the first. Majority is the first. Let's go buy the best. It's just my other brother. My name is just. It's very important. It's very important. This is very important. It does not make sense. We must spread this thing authentically. It's a lie. No, this is a fucking area. No, 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 no. What I have said is the most important. No, 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 no. No. This cooking area. This cooking area. This is cooking area. You are talking without any contribution. You are just suggesting without any contribution. The nice thing my people are suggesting right now. Spray can. Spray can. How many spray cans do we, are we going to use to achieve this whole place? In, within this short time? Like, so, do I really understand this people? I was trying to tell my leader, okay, this spray can, rather than a spray can, if you buy a pocket of paint, that should not cost us less than 2000 or there about 2005 Then that will cost, that, that, with that we can achieve, with, with this we can achieve so much. It's now a race against time for the contestants. Who would win the task? Only the judges would tell. Chef Regs for the menu. Noble for the relevance to lifestyle and neighborhood. And Toyi for the creative execution. To vote, visit www.votestudio.live or scan the barcode on the screen and fill in registration data. Voting costs 50 Naira only. 
Street Foods Ninja is proudly brought to you by Food Bay TV in association with Lagos State Government, uncaged by Tiger Beer, refreshed by Pig Yogurt, and supported by La Casera, Metropolitan Business School and Management, Hospitality Business School, and Indulge Rental. Ninja is proudly brought to you by Food Bay TV.